creative living. Utilizing today's technology with the best of the past to bring you innovative ideas and up-to-date information for creative lifestyles in today's active world. With your host, Cheryl Borden. Marissa, thank you so much for being here. Every time you come, you show us how to do something so unusual, and it's always colorful, which, of course, I like, too, and I know you like all the bright colors, too. But one of the things that you're going to show us today is making bracelets, and then the, the key to it are scissors that don't stick to everything. So let's, I have one on because I picked this to go with what I have on. <laughs> and I have you five on. You have five <laughs> on that, you know, go with your necklace and whatever color that you're wearing. And, and I think it's especially nice because I have trouble finding bracelets sometimes that are, that will fit my wrist. Mm -hmm. We can make them any size we want. Oh yeah, small, large, medium, uh -huh. <laughs> and, and everything in between. <laughs> and you mentioned scissors because when you cut duct tape or laminate or, well, even just any type of tape, scissors just get sticky and it's hard to, to get it off. And what is it that makes these so unusual? These are great. They're Westcott titanium bonded nonstick scissors. So titanium bonded means they're three times harder than stainless steel. So you never wow. have to sharpen them. You uh -huh. can use them for fabric, paper, tape. You name it. And they last a long time, they don't they? They last a very long time. time. And they are also nonstick, so uh -huh. you never have to worry about them getting gummed up or risking your life cleaning those blades anymore. Oh. It saves you lots of time. And, and once you've invested in something, you want to hang on to it. And you've come up with the cl most clever thing. It's called a scissor holster. Yeah. Right? Scissor holsters, they're great for holding your scissors handy on your hip. Um, whenever I'm crafting, if I put my scissors down in my craft room, it's <laughs> so chaotic them. in there that you can never find them again. Or also, if you're at a scrapbooking crop and you have different people oh. there and you want to keep your stuff nearby. Somebody might pick up the wrong ones, too. Yeah, or uh -huh. if you don't want the kids to get a hold of them, you can just keep them nearby. <laughs> and so you put them on a belt, which I might mention this belt's made out of duct tape as well. Oh, yeah, of how course. clever. <laughs> I made it with my nonstick scissors. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see how to do this. And it, it's a little involved, so you've gone ahead and got a few steps ahead. Yeah, it has a repetitive process, which is pretty easy, but I, to save time, I, I did some of the work uh -huh. for you. And these mats <laughs> are great because, it, like you always use the term, it's a great way to park them because park they'll them. come off and we can go answer the phone or mm -hmm. cook supper or whatever. Yeah, you okay. can park them and things will say sticky and you can keep track of how many you have and they're also great for measuring. Uh-huh, I like that. And two colors. Oh, yeah, the reversible, so if you're feeling pink. purple, feeling <laughs> pink, you know. I knew you'd have bright colors. Oh, yeah. Okay. And they come in a variety of sizes, so okay. they're great. And they're great for cutting with a hobby knife. Uh huh. They're wonderful. So Okay, you, we went ahead and decided we'd do the gold and the turquoise. Yeah, you're branching a little uh -huh. away from the black and silver. It's mm -hmm. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trying to bring you more into the color zone. Okay. Okay. I'm learning. <laughs> so... All you're going to do is take a piece of duct tape and you can use your mat to measure about three inches. Each one of these starts out With as three inches? With a piece that's three inches. Oh, okay. So inches. you're just going to have that. Okay. You cut a piece three inches. Mm -hmm. and, then and I notice how it doesn't stick to this. So you I mean, can it lay it there. I mean, it sticks like the right amount. It mm -hmm. sticks when you want it to and it comes off when you want it to. Right. That's handy. <laughs> very, okay. very handy. So then you're going to flip it over. And you're just going to fold it part of the way down, leaving this Making little a exposed. Triangle. Yeah, okay. but not all the way. You want to no. leave that because then that duct tape does oh, stick to that itself. Will stick. <laughs> yeah. I see. Yeah, it definitely sticks to itself. So we're using that to our advantage here. Self adhesive. So mm -hmm. this is the base of the whole project. Oh, and so you made up a bunch of these yeah, ahead of time. Yeah, I, I decided to make it easier That's on good. us. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> Pre-do okay. it. So then you just to get started, all you're going to do is fold one side. To, sort of to the middle. Sort of to the middle. Not quite. You want to kind of get this to be a diamond pattern. You just want it to be symmetrical, more or less. Oh, and that one's going over. Over, I see. yeah. So you just, you, you have a thing like that where you just... You just fold no it raw like edges. That. I love it. Yeah, I really don't finish. like to have anything raw mm -hmm. or you know looking haphazard. So I, I pre-did these. Mm -hmm. So then all you're gonna do is lay your next one on top, trying making oh. like a chevron kind of pattern, mm -hmm. which is like you've done here. Oh right, yeah. Uh -huh. I can even go on that one. And then so you just keep going. Yeah. So I started that one. So why don't I just keep going with yeah. that one? Uh -huh. So you're just gonna alternate and you could even do different patterns uh -huh. you could do like here I did three 
three different patterns uh -huh. on these. And then here I did like a gradation of color because it comes uh -huh. in all different colors and patterns. Oh, how fun. I can't wait to go to the store and look for all of this. I didn't even know they made duct tape in all these colors. I thought they were black or gray. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got these nonstick scissors and then I thought, you know, what, am I what can do? I do with them? That's why it's so great. And then I just really got into duct tape crafts and then I realized you could oh. do anything with mm -hmm. duct tape. If you have and it's an inexpensive <laughs> one. You can make gifts. You can uh, make them for a bazaar. Oh, These yeah. These are the great ideas. I think I'm going to make some. They're great for gifts when you're at home and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I forgot. It's someone's birthday. I have to, you know, or if you don't want to spend a lot of money. Uh -huh. Plus, handmade from the heart. And it's I notice that you're kind of tapering so that the end, you don't have all that extra bulk. Each yeah. Each one tapers just it a little bit. It naturally just tapers. Uh -huh. And then you just keep folding it around. So I'll try to uh, pick up the pace a little to show you. We look on this one and we can show how it's finished. It, yeah. Although I don't know that I can tell. Yeah, it kind of looks like, oh, well, that's the trick is at the end. Uh -huh. I'm going to show you how you finish it off. Um, okay. So we're almost there. Maybe we'll just make a small one for your granddaughter to, oh, good. for the sake of time, right? And okay. she'll like that. I'll just. Wrapping and folding. This would be something like, if you were in a meeting that wasn't too exciting. You could just sit there and fold all of these yeah, chevrons. Yeah, this is great. You can do mm -hmm. it while you're watching a movie. Mm -hmm. It's easy. It's safe. It's great for all ages. Kids can do it. Maybe while you finish that, let's take a look at this one over here because it's got the little kitty, which is so popular and kind of a wild um, pink leopard or tiger mm -hmm. pattern. So there's just no end to the different designs you could work with or match or oh, coordinate. Oh yeah, you could do so uh -huh. many different. And just looking at all the rolls of duct tape. My gosh, I didn't even know they made all these. I'm so I excited. I know, it's so exciting. So I'll just I'll just make a okay. really little one for like a baby just to show you how you're going to finish the end. So then uh -huh. at the very end, these scissors are great. They just cut right through well, so cut easily. cut through several layers. That's oh yeah, good. Uh -huh. so easy. And then you're going to find that original Oh, that's one. why I couldn't see how you... Yeah, it's like a little trick. It's a little, pack, little pocket little trick, kind of. Yeah, and then I'm just going to take my hot glue gun, the other thing I can't live without. Right. And... I'm just kind of filling it. Through. Fill it Does in a little. Oh, yeah, it's going. Okay. It's good. Okay. Just a little bit, just to hold it, because mm -hmm. that's that's the only thing where you do need... And then you're just going to insert it like a... Uh -huh. Oh, I should have had blue there, but you get the idea. I get it. Mm-hmm. And that's a very small wow. waist. Maybe it could be for one of your granddaughter's dolls. She would <laughs> love that. She'll have her own for her special doll. How <laughs> easy is that to do? And now I see why it's important to taper the end so that it's smaller to go into that little pocket of yeah. the first one. Well, thank you so much for showing us, and especially I'm glad to learn about these scissors that will just be such an asset to, for crafting and sewing. They're great all-purpose scissors for the home, the office, sewing, just anywhere. crafting, can't live without them. Well, thank you very <laughs> much, Marissa. Thank you.